in my reading of the character of the western people i find they are extremely aggressive by nature and very egoistical on the whole one should not feel that i am saying about you but i am saying you are such yogis you belong to the kingdom of god but i am telling about in general now why i am talking keep your eyes open i don't know why people close their eyes i can't understand it's only the mother earth that is beautiful because it can create so many varieties so many drama so many plays any other element if you see has nothing in it so it is she who can create so we should take to the motherly quality more and try to bind our guru principle through that motherly beautiful creative power so that we make our presence very agreeable very congenial very beautiful full of interest and varieties every time new flowers every time new fruits every time a new new design as kundalini is made of mother earth we are quite capable of doing that there are gurus and gurus and gurus but no one so far is such a master as you are of the kundalini if they were they would have given realization to thousands why because your mother has penetrated into your guru principle and has risen your kundalini has given you powers to raise kundalini breaking your seventh chakra so clearly that never happened with anyone even incarnations could not do that to the masses as you are doing the kundalini is flowing from your hand the ganesha is active in you but it should never give you the ego or the sternness or the heaviness of the sea but it should give you the beauty of the mother earth mother earth is always bigger than the sea because she has to contain the sea sea can never be bigger than the mother earth sometimes it looks sea bigger but sea is contained in the mother earth it cannot go beyond so mother earth is always greater bigger wider than the sea so one has to understand that when kundalini has risen you have become all the seven chakras and not only the guru chakra and when you have become the guru chakra it is also bounded on all sides by the mother earth under these circumstances when we are so capable we are giving realization to so many people when we are achieving so many things if we could just become humble congenial beautiful we can master the whole world but i find in the styles of sajogi especially in the west and westernized indians there is so much of ego still expressed in their talks in their behavior they are not capable of it to see i think sometimes but better see it first you may have to act as we do maybe but you must learn that way if you do not understand that all your leadership all your guru tatva depends entirely on the loving capacity of your mother her patience i get angry but perhaps once in a 10 years or 12 years something like that selda that's better then the anger has some meaning but all the time if you are in a temper or you try to show off or if you have so much of ego that you go on asserting on wrong things 
then you cannot be effective. Another thing I have seen that ego has no discretion. Ego has no discretion of any kind. If you are egoistical, first thing you lose is discretion. Then what's the use of having this nonsense of an ego which doesn't give you discretion? And people who have greater ego always then assert and you have to agree to that. You are more impressed by the people who have greater ego than yours. And you like the people who are without any ego so you can oppress on them. But the discretion part is very poor. That you can see the other day one guru had come, the one gentleman had come and he has given some mantra. It's by his guru. Now he can't hear anything against his guru. Why? Because his ego has chosen that guru. Because the ego has chosen, how can the ego be wrong? And ego is always wrong. Invariably it is wrong. Everything is upside down with the ego orientation. Gradually you will learn that in the West people lack common sense. Completely they lack common sense in everything. I mean if they had common sense there would have been much less problems. But common sense is lacking and also I find the same thing in Sahaja Yogis. They lack common sense. You have to become so wise that common sense should be your nature. But common sense we lack. Now the how unemployment can be solved? Some people can work in the morning, some can work in the evening. Now those who are working in the morning, the ladies could be in the house, men could be outside. Then the men come out in the evening, they can do the household work. Ladies can do in their house or when they are in the house, men can do creative work, like making statues, handwork, handmade things. So everybody gets employment. They became more creative, much happier people, and so easy to solve the problem. But there is unemployment. Because of unemployment, there are so many problems. Very easy to solve the problem of unemployment. You don't give any social security or anything. You give them their pay and let them work for shorter time. If you make them create things and sell them, they have more money. Or they can have nice things around them. Otherwise you can have horrid things like that. <laughs> so you can have lots of things which are handmade. Plus machine made things, whatever you want to have, there should be a balance. With common sense we should know how far to go. So common sense should be applied. And that can only come when there is no ego. With ego there cannot be common sense. Because I like it, I do it. But this I is an ego who is blind, who is indiscreet, who is stupid. So ultimately we do stupid things. There should be common sense which one can learn by getting rid of this ego. Now people say, Mother, how to get rid of ego? It's very simple, you have to move left to the right 108 times in Sahaja Yoga. You have to forgive people in Sahaja Yoga. And you can watch yourself. First of all, see, do you watch others or you watch yourself? First of all. Like there was a lady traveling with me, very old lady. And she said, this man is handsome, this man is not handsome. This woman is good looking, she is pretty, that I was looking at her, I said, this mad woman, she will go really crazy by the time we get down. She goes on looking into every person, judging everyone, who is handsome, who is not. And everybody whom she called handsome, I found him ugly. <laughs> so I gave up. I said, you better decide. I never try these things. 
we have to be gurus with the mothers influence on us all the time the mother controlling us the mother guiding us the mother making our banks mother making our maryadas so the motherliness is your blessing today you are raising your kundalini because your guru is a mother otherwise you could never have done it and that is why motherliness is so important one of the reasons perhaps why the sajog is run away from the leaders and sometimes from the people who want to have fallen maybe that we do not know that they are just entering in just opening out so try to be kind just hatching the little chicks you see will die very fast you have to handle them very very carefully i am saying this after so many years of not saying this and i am requesting all of you try to develop sit before the mirror and try to act like a mother let us say practice it try to be nice kindly gentle patient if you want to spread sahaja yoga in the west we have to do that 